the hidden city in the clouds. Chapter 1 The Discovery One bright and sunny afternoon, Axel, Laura, and Max embarked on an exciting aerial expedition in their trusty hot air balloon. The sky was a perfect shade of blue, and the gentle breeze carried them higher and higher into the atmosphere. As they floated higher, they marveled at the endless sea of clouds below them, which resembled a fluffy white ocean stretching as far as the eye could see. Suddenly, Lara's keen eyes spotted something unusual in the distance. It was a shimmering, golden structure peeking through the clouds, reflecting the sunlight in a dazzling display. Look, she exclaimed, her voice filled with a mixture of surprise and excitement, pointing towards the gleaming sight. Their curiosity piqued, Axel, Laura, and Max quickly agreed to steer their balloon towards the mysterious object. With hearts pounding with anticipation, they maneuvered their balloon through the cloud cover, drawing ever closer to the enigmatic sight. As they approached, the outlines of the structure became clearer, revealing a hidden city floating majestically among the clouds. The city was unlike anything they had ever seen. Its spires and towers glistened in the sunlight, casting a golden glow across the surrounding clouds. The architecture was both ancient and futuristic, with intricate designs and patterns adorning the buildings. Each spire seemed to be made of a material that sparkled and shimmered, adding to the city's ethereal beauty. The friends were in awe of the discovery, their minds racing with questions about who could have built such a wondrous place and what secrets it might hold. They anchored their balloon and prepared to explore this hidden city, eager to uncover the mysteries that awaited them in this extraordinary floating metropolis. Chapter 2 Meeting the Wizard As the friends landed their balloon in the heart of the hidden city, they were greeted by its inhabitants, friendly, winged creatures with radiant smiles and eyes filled with curiosity. The creatures, known as the Skyries, fluttered around the trio, guiding them through the bustling streets towards a magnificent palace that stood at the center of the city. The palace was a marvel of architectural splendor, with soaring towers, grand archways, and walls adorned with intricate carvings that seemed to tell the story of the city's rich history. The gates opened with a soft, melodious hum as the Skyries led Axel, Lara, and Max inside. In the grand hall of the palace, they met the city's ruler, a wise and benevolent wizard named Alaric. Alaric was an imposing figure with a long, flowing beard, eyes that sparkled with ancient wisdom, and a staff that radiated a gentle, magical glow. Welcome, brave travelers, Alaric said with a warm smile, his voice resonating with a deep, calming presence. I have been expecting you. The friends exchanged glances of surprise and curiosity. Alaric continued, Our city, Cloudhaven, is in grave danger. A fearsome dragon threatens to destroy our home. His expression grew serious as he shared the gravity of the situation. Axel, Laura, and Max listened intently as Alaric explained that the dragon, once a guardian of the skies, had been corrupted by a dark force and now sought to bring chaos and destruction. Alaric's voice was filled with hope as he said, Only the courage and resourcefulness of you three can save Cloudhaven from impending doom. The friends felt a mix of fear and determination. They knew that the task ahead would be perilous, but their hearts swelled with a sense of purpose. With Alaric's guidance and the support of the Skyries, they prepared to embark on their heroic quest to save Cloudhaven and restore peace to the skies. Chapter 3 The Battle with the Dragon Determined to protect the beautiful city of Cloudhaven, Axel, Lara, and Max prepared for their mission with unwavering resolve. Alaric, the wise and benevolent wizard, provided them with magical items to aid in their quest. Axel received a shield of light that radiated a protective aura, capable of deflecting the fiercest attacks. 
Lara was given a bow of stars, its arrows imbued with celestial energy that could pierce through the toughest scales. Max wielded a sword of flames, its blade burning with an intense fire that could cut through darkness. The trio set out towards the dragon's lair, guided by the Skyries who wished them luck and courage. The path led them to a dark, thunderous cloud that loomed ominously on the horizon, crackling with lightning and echoing with distant roars. As they approached the lair, the air grew thick with tension, and a sense of foreboding filled their hearts. Suddenly, with a deafening roar that shook the heavens, the dragon emerged from the swirling clouds. Its scales gleamed menacingly in the stormy light, each one reflecting the anger and corruption that had consumed the once noble beast. The dragon's eyes burned with a fierce, malevolent fire as it prepared to defend its territory. Without hesitation, the friend sprang into action. Axel raised his shield of light, creating a barrier that deflected the dragon's fiery breath. Lara knocked an arrow in her bow of stars, releasing it with precision to strike the dragon's vulnerable spots. Max charged forward, his sword of flames cutting through the air with blazing intensity. The battle was intense and perilous. The dragon's powerful claws swiped at them, and its tail lashed out with destructive force. But the trio fought bravely, their magical weapons and unwavering teamwork turning the tide of the battle. They coordinated their attacks, each strike weakening the dragon bit by bit. As the battle raged on, the dragon began to falter, its once mighty roars turning into pained growls. The combined efforts of Axel, Lara, and Max had begun to take their toll on the beast. With one final, unified assault, they managed to subdue the dragon, bringing it to the ground in a shuddering defeat. Exhausted but victorious, the friends stood over the fallen dragon, their hearts filled with relief and triumph. They had succeeded in their mission, and Cloudhaven was safe once more. Chapter 4 Saving Cloudhaven With one final, courageous effort, the friends managed to subdue the dragon. The battle reached its climax as Lara took a deep breath, steadied her aim, and shot a precise arrow from her bow of stars, striking the dragon's heart. The beast let out a piercing roar, its fiery breath illuminating the stormy skies one last time. Axel, with unwavering determination, raised his shield of light to deflect the dragon's final, desperate attack. Max, seizing the moment, charged forward with his flaming sword, delivering a powerful blow that sealed their victory. The dragon let out a final, echoing roar before it vanished into a puff of smoke, its dark presence dissipating into the air. Exhausted but triumphant, the friends began their journey back to Cloudhaven. As they descended through the clouds, the city's inhabitants gathered to greet them. The Skyries cheered and sang songs of celebration, their melodic voices filling the air with joy. The friends were hailed as heroes, their bravery and determination etched into the hearts of all who witnessed their return. Inside the magnificent palace, Alaric awaited them with a warm smile. You have done a great service to Cloudhaven he said, his eyes shining with gratitude. Your courage and resourcefulness have saved our home. As a token of gratitude, Alaric presented each of them with gifts, a crystal amulet for Axel that glowed with a soft, protective light, a silver quiver for Lara adorned with shimmering constellations, and a golden sheath for Max's flaming sword, engraved with ancient runes of strength and valor. As the time came for the friends to depart, they promised Alaric and the Skyries that they would visit Cloudhaven again. Their hearts were full of joy and accomplishment, knowing they had made a lasting difference in the world above the clouds. They boarded their trusty hot air balloon, waving goodbye to their new friends as they soared back home. The journey back was filled with reflections on their incredible adventure and the bonds they had forged. As they floated towards the horizon, the friends felt a deep sense of fulfillment. They had faced their fears, 
fought bravely, and emerged victorious, forever changing the fate of Cloudhaven. Their hearts were light, and their spirits high, as they looked forward to the adventures that awaited them in the future, confident that they could overcome any challenge that came their way.